2002. Brian Kerr, your name's in the hat, but this will be the oddest of interviews because we're in the interact now. What do I talk about? Well, we, we could talk about the World Cup or we could talk about racing or hurling or DJ Kerry or something else, but uh, I think given that it was a World Cup year, we should we should think about the magnificence of the, the team performances and the resilience of the, the team given the circumstances. I like to remember uh, the style of the team, the way the team played, you know, much more than the two previous World Cups that we qualified for. Um, I think that was something to cherish and something to admire. Um, I think that we can continue that style of play. Um, you know, we, 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 still, we still have an opportunity to qualify for the European Championship Finals. There's a bit to be done. But when you look at the game overall, we have thousands of games taking place every week. You know, people might say, well, does uh, FAI are in disarray? The reality is, is the game has never been as healthy. We've never had so many players playing the game, wanting to play the game. Fixtures taking place, uh, young players emerging. And, um, you know, I, I think we should look at it in that, in that, in that light, the, the effect of the, the positive things from the World Cup, even the controversy, I think has helped more young players to be interested in playing the game. Well, we're on the way up, we hope, again. Brian, thank you very much indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Kerr.